Hey guys, this is Bumblebee85 coming at you again with another video review. I have the second in my series of three of the third wave of Titans Return figures here. And this is Blowpipe and Trigger Happy. This is Trigger Happy, Blowpipe is the head, or the little Titan Master. And this is the standard Titan Master box we've been getting uh, from all of our Titan Masters so far with the nice art. There on the side, transformers down that side, and on the back it says he transforms in 17 steps. We're getting back up there in the step count a little bit compared to other Titan Masters. Here's his bio. If you want to pause it now, you can read it. And he has the same gimmick. The Titan Masters head can be used on any other figure from this entire line. So that's the packaging. It's from Hasbro, Transformers Generations. Let me get them out of the package and we'll check them out. Now here is Trigger Happy out of the packaging with his accessories and his card. We'll go over those first. Nice art on the card. I'm liking that. Always like that. Titans Returns cards. And then here's his tech specs. The red is with uh, Trigger Happy alone and then add Blowpipe and you get those blue powered up levels. So we'll take a closer look at his two accessories which are his weapons and they are molded opposite each other basically. They're just this gray whitish beige actually plastic. There's always great detail on uh, most of these weapons we're getting with the Titans Return figures. Now we've had this uh, sliding together technique weapon uh, with high brow and they just slide together the line the notches up and you want to go from underneath and you just slot them together and then that becomes a weapon that uh, the headmaster or titan master can use later on but they do just slide into the pegs just slide into the fists of trigger happy and he can hold his weapons no problem this Trigger Happy is, and there has a nice deco, he's a Decepticon. And we'll take a closer look at him. Here's a little size comparison with a couple similar figures. We got Scourge, and we'll take old Highbrow here. So there's your comparison in robot mode. A lot of blues and purples there. Uh, let's put them with another Decepticon for fun. Another different colored purple. Mind wipe. Removing his weapons. Setting those off to the side. Even though it looks like he still has 20 guns attached to him, they are non-removable. Now, first off, uh, there's a nice white Decepticon logo attached to the front of his chest there, tampered on there. We got some silver and gold highlights. This is like a, a purpley-ish blue, whatever you call that. It's a nice Decepticon purple-ish. There's a, some blue also added on into the uh, fins, wings, and there's some more Decepticon logos uh, attached on his wings. Both wings get the Decepticon logo there. He's got the, the same beige plastic as the, his weapons. Then he's got these brown booster packs on his shoulders that don't move or anything. They just sit there. But that's, yeah, he's got gold bits of highlights here and there. And, uh, that's trigger happy in bot mode. Here's his uh, poseability. We have his head on that ball joint thanks to the Titan Master himself. His shoulders are also on this uh, uh, rotation joint here which can hinge up and down like that. Uh, he's got this elbow bicep type swivel hinged at the elbow which makes him bend further, a little bit further than 90 degrees. And his wrists are on a hinge, but that's due for transformation. He has a waist swivel, which is nice. 
his hips are on a ball joint. He can kick out really far, he can kick back really far. He can do the splits. He has the upper thigh cut, a single hinged knee which folds right up in behind, and his toes have some articulation in there also. His toes and his heel. So that's his articulation. We'll quickly pop off blowpipe here and we'll take a closer look at his head sculpt. He's got an amazing... All the Titan Masters seem to have, have this great... or having these great head sculpts. He's got some yellow eyes in there with the red mouthpiece. The same purple as him. And he just flips out an oh, open there and he has the two joints that form the legs. His arms are on those uh, little ball joints. Just as long, same with his head. But it, it's just a flat purple with the gray body. Nothing that you haven't seen already from any other Titan Master. But we'll set him off to the side and we'll take a closer look here at Trigger Happy's transformation, which is a very cool transformation. Now we'll start off with the easy bits here. We'll just tuck his wrists on up inside his forearms there. And then you can actually dislocate from the shoulder and pull the accordion joint on out like that. We'll set those out of the way for now. Then you actually want to can just lift his, the nose cone piece up to about there. It's flat on his back, lift it up to about there. Then you want to unhook from above his uh, waist swivel. You unhook from there. And then this whole piece attached from his legs and his nose cone will actually spin completely around. And then you can tuck the nose cone back up in front. He's got some notches here and there, and they just connect together, forming the whole front piece of the of the jet mode here. So then you want to spin him at his waist, tuck his back heel in, and tap the toe just up. It won't go any, any further. It just uh, buckles in underneath. His heel goes all the way in, and his toe stops right there can't push it in any further. Try and push these legs together using those notches, keep them together. And then you actually just, then you want to get these wings out of the way here. And then you want to put an angle it on that angle right there. Rotate it at the hips, rotate it at the knees, and then this tab will go into this notch here on both sides. And they just push right up in there. So you have this bit of an angle uh, forming up from the back of the jet. And then you can take these arm shoulder pieces and there's another tab here and then the slot is on the back of the leg there by the knee and they just peg right in on both sides tabbing everything nice together and then with uh, with these uh, forearms tab into this this notch that came out from the midsection there and that keeps it nice and flat like so on both sides that just notches right in there keeps it nice and tight and then you can rotate these guns down and out like so then you bring these wings you see the notch there the tabs and they all just just folds right up inside to the side, and there you have it. Trigger happy in vehicle mode. It's a very sleek looking jet wing type mode thing. Um, he does have a landing gear which pops out here. It does not have any wheels or anything like that, but it adds some aesthetics to the uh, vehicle mode. So then you see a little bit more gold here and there. You can see the wings better. A little tip of uh, the white on the nose cone there. But uh, very cool. And he does have a cockpit that pops up open here. And then you can take blowpipe, put him in his little seat position, and you stuff him in there like so, and close the cockpit. And now you have the cockpit in this nice clear um, clear glass 
on the go so you can actually see the driver. A lot of people have had some QC issues with these guns here not folding up all the way. Mine seem to be pretty flush with the actual other part there. Here's a shot from the back with the boosters. Look pretty cool. And then he has these weapons also that can just plug in the underside. Um, adding even more weapons to Trigger Happy here. Getting the idea why they're calling him Trigger Happy. So uh, I guess he was a, a target master back in the day. And they've made him a headmaster here. So that's kind of cool, I guess. We're still getting that same feature of all the masters getting Titan Masters turned into Titan Masters. And so, but when you plug these two guns together, you can actually take a blowpipe here and get them out. And it's kind of hard because the pieces are put together. They're not lined up, but the two holes can plug in there and you can put them in a little seating position. Raise his arms a bit. You can get his feet to stay plugged in. It's a little tricky. But there he is driving around on that. He actually doesn't ride on the vehicle um, separately. Uh, that's that's his separate vehicle, I guess. Most of the time you'd be able to plug it on. Uh, the only way you can do that is like underneath. And then that doesn't look right. Um, but even still... Like I said, the Titan Master here has little peg holes and there's notches on this vehicle that you can go ahead and make Titan Masters stand on. So, here are the comparisons with Scourge and Highbrow. Very well done, Titan's Return. I'm liking the vehicles and the aesthetics that we're getting with the vehicles. Very, very cool. That's vehicle comparison. We'll put those off to the side. And we'll do some final thoughts here on uh, Trigger Happy, who has a lot of weapons, which I think look really, really cool. A cool designed uh, an original transformation again. Uh, I'm liking uh, the clear cockpit, especially when you take the cockpit and you open it, take out blowpipe. And if you can actually see inside there, there's even like a little dash, a couple buttons. So, detailed inside and out. Uh, the landing gear is a nice touch. Um, the purple is nice. It's a different kind of purple, so we're not getting all the same Decepticon-ish purple vehicles. Uh, the, the, the way the wings are shaped are nice, even the way the logos the Decepticon logos are on the wings are really cool looking and he's got three symbols kind of cool even even the the joint that rotates the whole thing around looks like this little air lifting vent uh, thruster thing so you could do like vertical takeoffs and stuff like that so again a, ni a nice figure I'm enjoying these Titans Returns figures and once you get the hang of the transformations they're pretty simple Nothing too complicated, so you should be able to figure it out in no time, and with a few twists and turns. Be careful when you're getting this. This one really needs to click in on mine for some reason for it to, to snap in place, but just like that, he is back into robot mode and the wrists do have a nice click in whereas like scourges are loose there's a nice little click for the wrists and always be sure to remove your titan master and form him his head clips on nicely weapons for trigger happy are attached and that is my review Titans Return Trigger Happy with Blowpipe. Enjoy the play. My Enjoy the Play this
this time is a little bit of actual play with the figure. This is Trigger Happy's Gearwalk mode. It works pretty pretty decently. Little fan mode here. The feet keep him steady. He's got the back ankle legs. He's got the guns all ready to go, plus the pilot inside. Blow pipe. So that's my gear lock mode. I like it. I heard that he could do it, so I thought I'd give her a go. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Might be a better way to do it, but I like that way.